So welcome students. So in this question you are given that you have 10 balls which are to be placed in 4 boxes so that no box is empty. That means you have to put at least one ball in each of these boxes. So now you have 4 options. So out of these options let us analyze which is right. So let us assume that. So is it possible that all the 4 boxes gets less than 3 balls? So is it possible, is it possible that all the four boxes, all the four boxes contain less than three balls? So less than three balls means you can go up to two balls. So is it possible that you can adjust these 10 balls into these 4 boxes so that all the boxes contain less than 3 balls. No, obviously, because if you have less than 3 balls in each of these boxes, the maximum balls that a box can hold is 2. So, even if I put 2 balls in all the boxes, all the 10 boxes will not be consumed. So, the 2 remaining balls have to go into any one of these boxes. So, at least one of the box should contain more than at least one of the box should contain at least three balls. So at least one of the box should contain should contain at least three balls. So I cannot say that at least one box should contain exactly three balls. It's possible that if I put all the two balls in this first box, all the 10 balls are put in these boxes so that no box is empty, but none of the boxes contain exactly three balls. So, but at least one of the box should contain at least three balls. So, all the boxes cannot have less than three balls. So, this is, so this will be the answer to this question. So, at least one of the box should contain at least three balls. Thank you.